What's up guys, welcome to the channel. And in this video, let's discuss IT certifications and whether investing in them is worthwhile. It's an ongoing discussion in the tech industry. Many will say that certifications are not the way forward, whilst others will say certifications are the way to success in your tech career. In this video, let's dive into this topic that is on the minds of many IT professionals and understand is investing in IT certifications really worth it? So before we begin, let's define what IT certifications are. So IT certifications are basically achievements which are given by a company or an organization. And these achievements basically validate your skills in a certain area or with a certain tool. These certifications are achieved mostly by taking an exam or an assessment. And usually when you pass the assessment with a passing score, they will give you this certification as a digital badge, which you can add to your LinkedIn profile or show to potential employers to prove that you've passed the certification. Now let's get into the video and discuss some of the issues that leave doubts in people's minds as to whether certifications are worth it or not. One of the first issues is time and money. IT certifications take time to study for, and they also are not free. They cost. In some cases, they cost a lot. I made a video about the top five certifications for getting started in cloud. And in this video, I mentioned some of the prices for certifications for getting started in cloud, like the Azure Fundamentals or the Google One or the AWS Cloud Practitioner. And most of these cloud certifications even at the fundamental level cost at least a hundred dollars plus or over 80 pounds, which could be quite a lot for some people that just want to take exams and prove that they have certain skills, particularly if you don't have an organization paying for the certifications you're taking and you have to pay for it out of your own pocket. And those certifications are even on the cheaper side. There are some certifications that cost upwards of 300 pounds or dollars that are more specialized certs. Additionally, it takes time to study for some of these certifications. At the fundamental level, maybe a week or two, but when you start getting to those associate and expert level certifications, sometimes it takes months to be able to study for a certification and pass. And then again, what if you don't pass? Then you've paid for a certification if you not pass and you have to pay again, and it takes even more time. So this is just one of the issues that people would think, mm, is it really worth it to take a certification? Another issue is that people often take a certification and they get that qualification and it's on their LinkedIn and they're really happy about it. And they feel as if this certification automatically makes them qualified for a job. And yeah, fair enough. The certification alone doesn't make you qualified for the job but it puts you in a great position because you do have the knowledge that you've gained from that certification. And if you're able to discuss that and also able to apply that uh, practically on whatever, like if you did an Azure security certification, I mean, you're able to apply what you've learned in that on an actual Azure server or Azure portal, then that will make you more qualified for the role. But the knowledge of the certification alone without doing the practical parts and trying this out, then you're likely to forget that stuff and it won't put you in a good position. Another thing that is part of this discussion is the mentality of more certifications, more qualified. This is an interesting one because for myself, I am in the early stages of my career and I feel like when I get certifications, I learn so much more and I'm in better positions to contribute to more conversations. So in a ways, I do feel more qualified when I have more certifications, but not because of the certification itself, but because of the knowledge that I've gained from studying for those certifications. So in this case, for me anyway, it's not about having the certification and being able to put it on my LinkedIn profile and feeling like, yeah, I'm more qualified, but it's more gaining the knowledge from the certifications that I'm taking. Okay, now that we've discussed the issues that some people have in the world about certifications, Let's discuss the pros and understand why certifications are so beneficial in the tech industry. And the first pro I'm going to mention is skills validation. Now, once you study or you learn a new skill, certifications are a way to actually prove to yourself 
not just to other people, but to yourself, that you've actually gained this knowledge and you actually understand this thing. So then when you have that certification, you're able to say, yes, I achieved this certification, which means I do understand this thing to a certain extent and I've been able to pass an exam on it. It is a confidence booster when you have that. So skills validation is one of the first pros which I'll mention. Certifications definitely do provide career opportunities, especially at entry level or early careers. When I was starting my career only a few years ago, certifications definitely helped me to get my foot in the door. <laughs> when you graduate from university and the only thing differentiating you from another degree holder is a certification, I could really put you way ahead of people that you are competing with for the same roles. Additionally, if you don't have a degree or any academic qualification after um, secondary school or whatever, then certifications would definitely be a go-to for you. Backing up those certifications to show that you really have an understanding, even though you haven't gone for the higher education, you've educated yourself and done your own self-learning and independent learning with those certifications. And honestly, sometimes I've thought back to the time I spent at university. I spent over three years at university and I thought, wow, what if I spent three years studying Azure or gathering Azure certifications and AWS certifications? What position would I be in now? I would be an expert. I would have such a great understanding of the practical things I would actually be using in the tech industry rather than learning a broad bunch of stuff that 90% of that stuff I don't even use as I'm working in the tech industry today. Another pro of certifications is structured learning. A lot of the time, I can say for myself especially, when I was getting into the tech industry, I didn't know what exactly to learn to boost and move forward my skills, but certifications and certification paths definitely helped me to understand that, okay, if I wanna be a solutions architect with Azure, then these are the things that I need to get in terms of certifications. If I want to become an Azure administrator, then I need to probably get the AZ900 to understand Azure and then go for the AZ104 to get that Azure administrator cert, which will help me um, in getting a role as well as in working in that role. I'll have a great understanding of what I need to be doing and what I need to understand to do well in my role. And that is a structured learning. Whereas if there wasn't a certification on that, I would be pulling information from different sites or different videos. Whereas now I know that there's a specific certification about this, I can just go and take the course for that certification and get, get that and have a good understanding after I've got it. Next, let's talk about when certifications are most useful for people. And the first one I wanna say is entry level. Like I mentioned earlier, Entry level certifications can be super important, especially when you don't have experience. Certifications are the way to show that you truly have an interest in this area because you've been willing to go and study it out and you can actually prove that you've done that by having a certification badge and showing that to the hiring manager or employer. When I was getting into this tech industry, certifications were a big thing for me. I went and did the CompTIA A+. I went and did the AZ900 and I did another um, MTA certification, which doesn't exist anymore. It was retired, um, but those really helped me and helped me to get my first job in tech and also helped me to get my first job in cloud computing. Another time when they're most useful is early careers. I am still in the early stages of my career and I still feel like there's a lot of certifications that I could go after and get and it could really help me in learning different things and really understanding different things in tech. I'm currently studying for some more cybersecurity related certifications. I've recently been working in cybersecurity and there's a lot of stuff that I don't feel like I fully understand yet. And going after some cybersecurity certs like uh, the ISC squared stuff or like a, maybe the ISC squared CC, which is like the foundational one, um, could really help me in understanding what I'm working with and the different terms and terminology and abbreviations and that sort of thing with working in cybersecurity. They are also really useful for a career change. Like say you're going from being a biology major to going into tech, that is a great way to do it. When you wanna switch careers and all your qualifications are in another industry like 
I don't know, science or uh, law or something, and you want to move into the tech industry, certifications is a great way to get some validation of understanding moving over into tech. And the last one is specialization. There are definitely a lot of niche areas which certifications could help someone that is studying towards understanding this area, really understand an area that is pretty niche and doesn't have as much information online and on YouTube and stuff like that. Having that brought together in a course that you can study for and take an exam for is often really helpful. In summary, certifications are super useful at different stages of our tech career. Some people out there really need certifications to get their career going and get started and really boost their career. Others might not. Others might through experience or through learning in different ways do well, but certifications are super helpful, especially in industries like cloud computing and cybersecurity. These IT certifications can really give you that confidence and that boost. So if you're getting started in your tech career or you're looking to get started, I personally would advise getting one or two certifications. And if you're applying for roles, showing those certifications to your employer, highlighting them in your profile and in your CV are really good ways to get your foot in the door and to get those first jobs. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram. I can subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.